Chapter 7 Follow my advice, my son. Always treasure my commands. Obey them and live. Guard my teachings as your most precious possession. Tie them on your fingers as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Love wisdom like a sister. Make insight a beloved member of your family. Let them hold you back from an affair with an immoral woman, from listening to the flattery of an adulterous woman. I was looking out the window of my house one day and saw a simple-minded young man who lacked common sense. He was crossing the street near the house of an immoral woman. He was strolling down the path by her house at twilight. As the day was fading, as the dark of night set in, the woman approached him, dressed seductively and sly of heart. She was the brash, rebellious type who never stays at home. She is often seen in the streets and markets, soliciting at every corner. She threw her arms around him and kissed him, and with a brazen look she said, I've offered my sacrifices and just finished my vows. It's you I was looking for. I came out to find you, and here you are. My bed is spread with colored sheets of finest linen imported from Egypt. I've perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink our fill of love until morning. Let's enjoy each other's caresses, for my husband is not home. He's away on a long trip. He has taken a wallet full of money with him, and he won't return until later in the month. So she seduced him with her pretty speech. With her flattery, she enticed him. He followed her at once like an ox going to the slaughter, or like a trapped stag awaiting the arrow that would pierce its heart. He was like a bird flying into a snare, little knowing it would cost him his life. Listen to me, my sons, and pay attention to my words. Don't let your hearts stray away toward her. Don't wander down her wayward path, for she has been the ruin of many. Numerous men have been her victims. Her house is the road to the grave. Her bedroom is the den of death.